You have to give the Republicans credit. Since they took over power in the House of Representatives, there's been a number of historic firsts. I mean, most of them shitty, but first nonetheless. One happened today. You'll recall that Representative Matt Gates issued a motion to vacate the office of the Speaker of the House and kick Kevin McCarthy out of his job. Now, he did this because he was mad. MAGA was mad at Kevin McCarthy because he didn't allow the government to be shut down. Instead, he negotiated with Joe Biden and kept it open. And that made MAGA mad. That made Matt Gates mad. Now, you recall it took 15 votes to get Kevin McCarthy his job. And it was only because Matt Gates and the MAGA fucks let him go in after he sold his soul to them. So Kevin McCarthy's job's been hung over his head, held over his head since the moment he took the job. What happened today was inevitable. Now, when I first heard they were going to vote to boot Kevin McCarthy, I really thought the Republicans didn't have the votes for it. I didn't really think they had the stomach for it, but I was wrong because today the vote was 216 to kick Kevin McCarthy out to 210 to keep him in. So as of today, this is another historic day. It's never happened before. Kevin McCarthy is out on his ass. He's no longer Speaker of the House. Now they will put in an interim speaker until they can vote in a new permanent speaker. But who in the Republican Party can get 218 votes? There isn't anybody who can get 218 votes. So what's going to happen? Are the Democrats going to step in and try to work with the normal-minded Republicans? I don't know. My son walked by while this was going on. He says, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I said, I don't know. But it just makes the Republican look like they're putting on another shit show. And this can't help them in 2024. Another historic day. We won't have Kevin McCarthy to kick around anymore. We'll see who's up next, if they can even vote anybody in next time.